This is a quick demo of the document repository in Polar. And so the document repository is sort of the main interface that you deal with when you're working with your documents. And when you open up a document or capture a document in Polar, they're saved to the document repository and you can store all of your documents and, and open them uh, in one central location. And the uh, simplest way is uh, the inter fact, interface with it is just, you know, page through. You, get, you can see all your documents at once, uh, one page at a time. By default, it loads it based on the progress, uh, your reading progress of what you're reading. And you can sort based on the time added and the last updated. Normally, I will try to sort of work between these two and maybe go back to progress <clears throat> if necessary. And then one of the key things, of course, you're going to have tons and tons and tons of documents. So you're going to want to probably have some sort of uh, way to sort of prioritize them. And there's two ways that you can do that. You can uh, prior prioritize by flagging. You can even, even just say flag only. So you can prioritize that field or you can just show only the flagged. Um, we can then... We, we can archive any of these documents if they're not that interesting to us. Uh, and then we can also hide and show whether uh, these archived documents. And tags are sort of the main way that I deal with them, uh, with, with my documents. And in order to, to work with tags, you just go over here to this little tag button. And you can just create any of these tags or add a new tags, uh, new tag. So document I just added a little bit a little while ago. Um, so I, did, I don't think I tagged this one. So I was just reading about Discord. So I'm just going to create a new one called Discord, and it gets stored and saved with that document. Now let's say I want to come back to it later and find it. Well, then I can just go up to this Tags bar, and then I can just say Discord, and I just pulls it, and it will filter just by that Discord. In order to clear the tags, I can just go back up here and select it, and it will refresh the documents and uh, show me just what I'm interested in. You can also filter by title, um, so I could say Discord again, and then it will just show me uh, those documents that are just filtered by title. And those are sort of the high-level functionality of working with the document repository. If you like Polar, we would love it if you gave us a, a, an upvote on Product Hunt. And also, if you give us a star on GitHub, that would be really appreciative. Uh, thank you very much.